This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and I've always enjoyed modifying performance cars. Now, a common expression in the tuning community is all show, no go. It's when someone takes an underpowered car and installs a spoiler, body kit, window tint, lowering springs, fancy wheels, but they leave intact all the systems that affect performance. I think everyone has some similar expression, all bark, no bite, all sizzle, no steak, all foam, no beer, but my all-time favorite is all show, no go. And that's what immediately came to mind when I saw this new in box 20-year-old block sent in by Alice in Colleen, Texas, where I believe the equivalent expression is all hat, no cattle. I'll admit it is a good-looking lock. It's die-cast into the shape of a V-twin engine, chrome-plated, there's a black sticker with traditional hot rod flames right on the front, but strictly looking at its function, it's not very impressive. And to be fair, Kryptonite tells you that in the fine print. Perfect for accessory lockup or use as a secondary deterrent. In other words, you can use it for locking your helmet or in addition to a real lock. So let's pick this open and I think you'll see why I'm unimpressed. I'm going to use a 40 thousandths thick turner in the bottom of the keyway and this wave rake. These are both part of the Genesis set that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. Okay, let's give those pins a little jiggle and you can see very quickly we got that open. Let's do it one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. And just as quickly we got it open a second time. Okay, folks, obviously this provides vanishing little security, which may be fine for a helmet, just make sure you don't use it for real security. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.